after a year in our previous church building, we have moved. We moved out of our previous church building because we just outgrew it. Like, how ironic is that? We started the church in the midst of the pandemic. And it was small to begin with. And, um, you know, I was like, I don't know how people going to be comfortable in here. COVID is around. But you know what? They packed the place out. <laughs> so much so that we had to move for comfort's sake. And now we're in our new building. And it's not too far from our previous building because it's really important to us that we stay in the same community because we like to serve our community. So the week we decided we were moving out of our church, the old building, I felt like we was in Encanto. <laughs> the building started falling apart, y'all. <laughs> it literally started falling apart. Like... There was a storm, and it took the siding off the building. And I was like, oh, no, this is bad. We better let them know, because we don't want to have to pay for this. We're out of here. <laughs> the steps in the back chipped, and, like, a whole chunk of the step came off. I was like, the building is sad. We're leaving. It's falling apart. <laughs> God said, y'all coming up out of Egypt, and y'all ain't never coming back. Okay? You ain't coming back. You ain't coming ain't back. Ain't going to be no reason to come back, but... I mean, when you said that, it really did, like, put it in perspective because if the building was, like, tippity-top, this is it, it would have allowed us to remain comfortable there. But even if we had any inkling, just a little notion, like, maybe we don't need to, mm -mm, this building was like, no, y'all leaving. Because <laughs> it took the siding down. And you know how some landlords be, we moved out, y'all. <laughs> I wrote past the other day, now they're doing renovations. <laughs> The building got a whole facelift. They done painted it. They done painted the doors, the windows. Like, it looks nothing like what it looked like when we were in there. <laughs> and I said, for someone to come here and worship with us here, they have to definitely be able to see more. They have to be able mm -hmm. to see a future. They have to see that we're going somewhere. Because I'm not saying, like, we were in a hole in the wall. I mean, it was nice, but... You had to be able to see beyond what was before you. And the fact that it's being renovated now, um, when you said that, my first thought was they're renovating it after you leave. Why? But, <laughs> well, and then that was my next thought. God didn't intend for you to get comfortable, you know? Like, Absolutely. sometimes, you know, somebody wipe off something a little bit, and you're like, okay, well, I'll stay. No, mm -hmm. he intended for you to grow and to move forward. Um, and so sometimes he allows our situation to stay the same, so we'll move out of it, you know? Absolutely. And then when we moved to the new building, our first Sunday there, I'm telling you, it really did amaze me because I looked around, and I didn't say anything, but somebody else stood up in testimony service, and she was like, how do we even fit in the other building? Because we look like we're filling this one up. And I was like, girl, I was thinking the same thing, but I wasn't going to say it. Everybody kind of had a hand in the moving in process. Uh, because we had to do some renovations. We had to change the carpet. And we had to put a bathroom on the first floor because um, the bathroom's in the basement. So oh. Somebody who comes who's not able to take stairs and wanted them to be comfortable. So we put a bathroom on the first floor and um, took up the carpet and changed some things, did some painting and all that. But we took up the carpets and everybody came together and we like wrote scriptures on the floor. So right now we have carpet down, but underneath the carpet is the word of God. So every time we walk into the building, we're walking on the word of God. <laughs> and uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's exciting. Um, but, you know... You could just feel the excitement of everybody and everybody being able to see, like, I talked about earlier how you had to be able to see more than where we were. And it was just like, when we were moving into the building, it was like everybody had an opportunity to see the more mm -hmm. come to pass. Sister Ramona Freeman, she and her set up the new church. Sister Kanisha, what did you think? The new church? I think that the Lord has blessed. Really? And he's blessing. Mm. I think he can. What you think, Brother Chris? I don't think nothing. I think, I, well, I think we're blessed and highly favored. So. Mm. It's been a busy year. We've been hustling. But um, 
it's all been good busy work. Yes, you know, definitely. Um, we're, we're getting somewhere, so stick with us. We got a lot of good things coming in the future, even though we don't even know what all of them are. Uh, make sure you stay connected <laughs> to our channel, like, share, subscribe, and we'll keep you updated with all the busyness that we have going on. Lots of moving going on in Kentucky, apparently. <laughs> to the glory of God. <laughs> to the glory of God. So we want you all to ride with us, and we'll catch you in the next video. building y'all I felt like I was in what's that movie called what's the uh, the movie uh we don't talk about Bruno we don't talk about Bruno we don't talk about Bruno no no <laughs> <Is it? laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about everybody y'all know that song you got some type of child you done heard them say we don't talk bit. about Bruno no no what is a Isabella 